The Insight Lighting tool can compute the daylighting available in the rooms of your building model and report how each room compares to the daylighting levels required for LEED compliance. The daylighting levels are computed at two specific times dictated by LEED, the fall equinox at 9 a.m. and at 3 p.m. The results of the daylighting analysis is reported through color maps that help visualize the daylighting levels on a plan view of each floor level and through schedules that summarize the daylighting performance by room and by floor level. A high-level summary is also reported showing the number of lead points earned by the entire building based on the daylighting performance in all of the relevant rooms. Let's start by opening the Revit project used for this analysis. Reopen the Classroom with Shades Revit model. For a lighting analysis, you need to use a building element Revit model or the analysis will not work. Next, create a new Insight Lighting Analysis study. Click the Analyze tab and select the Lighting tool in the Insight panel. Select Continue in the dialog box that provides resources and best practices for conducting a lighting analysis study. Then, select a newer past analysis. For this analysis, select New, and then click Go. Next, edit the daylighting study settings. In the Lighting Analysis in the Cloud dialog box, select the analysis type. Use LEED V4 EQC7 Option 2 to create a daylighting analysis study that meets the latest LEED requirements. Choose the lower resolution, the 72-inch grid, for this analysis for quicker results and fewer cloud credits. Select the floor levels for which a lighting analysis should be created. For this analysis, choose Level 3, Floor. In order to complete the analysis for zero cloud credits, you are limited to selecting a single level to analyze at one time. Click Check Price to check the credits needed to run the analysis. Cloud credits will not be charged until the analysis is complete and accepted. Now we're ready to start the analysis. Select Start Analysis to begin the simulation. The Revit model will be uploaded to the cloud rendering engine and you should keep the model open as the analysis is completed. Revit will notify you once the analysis results are ready. When prompted, click OK to save the project, then accept or decline the cloud credit charges. Click Accept, Update, and Save Project. Be sure to save your project after the results are accepted. If the project is closed without saving, you may be charged to download the results again. Next, you can view the analysis results in your Revit views. In the Analysis tab, select Lighting from the Insight panel again. In the Lighting Analysis in the Cloud dialog box, select a past analysis to populate the results in an active 3D view, then click Go. A lighting analysis report summary appears summarizing the percentage of rooms meeting the lead requirements at each of the required test times and the number of lead points that will be earned by the current design. Note this information and close the dialog. Several lighting views are also automatically created to easily access results in floor plan, 3D, and schedule views. Open the Lighting Analysis-03 Dash floor plan view and zoom in on the area of the building to see a color map indicating the amount of daylighting available in each room. A legend is also displayed. You may need to zoom out to the full extent of the view, then select and move the legend closer to the building for easier viewing. Next, you can fine-tune the analysis by removing rooms that are not required to be considered for lead compliance. Open the Lighting Analysis Room Schedule in the Project Browser. Any changes made in this schedule do not require you to rerun the Lighting Analysis. Uncheck the rooms that should not be included in the Daylighting Analysis, for example, rooms that are not regularly occupied, such as toilet rooms, mechanical and electrical rooms, and storage rooms. 
In the pop-up dialog indicating that the lighting model is changed, select Continue as you make changes to the room schedule. After making changes to the room schedule, you're ready to regenerate the results summary. Click the Analyze tab and select the Lighting tool from the Insight panel. In the Lighting Analysis in the Cloud dialog box, select the Past Analysis to update the results. Click Go to refresh the results summary using your change settings entered in the Lighting Analysis room schedule.